Now it's time to solve some questions on partnerships. And there is our first question. P and Q started a business investing 85,000 rupees and 15,000 rupees respectively. In what ratio the profit earned after two years be divided between P and Q respectively? Now it is given that P and Q invested 85,000 and 15,000 and they have invested it for the period of two years. So both have invested the amount for a same time period, right? So I can clearly say that the ratio of profit of P to profit of Q is directly proportional to the ratio of the amounts they invested in. So I can write P's profit divided by Q's profit is equals to the ratio of amount they invested. So 85,000 divided by 15,000. These zeros get cancelled out and I divide the numerator and denominator by 5. So 5 threes are 15, 5 times 17 is 85. So we have 17 by 3 as the ratio. So the ratio is 17 is to 3 that is option number D. ABC enter into a partnership investing 35,000 rupees, 45,000 rupees and 55,000 rupees respectively. The respective shares of A, B and C in an annual profit of 40,500 are. Now it is given that these people have invested these much of amounts for the same time period which means that we can write the ratio of their profits is equal to the ratio of the amounts they invested in. So let us assume that the ratio of their profits are A is to B is to C. It is equal to the ratio of amounts they invested. So 35,000 is to 45,000 is to 55,000. So these zeros get cancelled out and 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 9 is 45 and 5 times 11 is 55. So the ratio is 7 is to 9 is to 11. Now the total parts in which this money is divided is 7 plus 9 plus 11 and that is 27. So A gets 7 parts out of these 27 parts, B gets 9 parts out of these 27 parts and C gets 11 parts out of 27. I am talking about the profit here, right? Now we can calculate the share of A, B and C in the annual profit which is 40,500. So A's share is equal to 7 out of 27 parts of 40,500. So 7 by 27 times 40,500 and that is equals to if you solve it you will get 10,500. So this is A's share. Now we can calculate B's share. It is equal to 9 27th of 40,500 and that is equal to 13,500 and let us now calculate C's share. So C's share is equal to 11 out of 27 parts of 40,500. So 11 by 27 times 40,500 and that is equal to 16,500. So what is the correct answer now? Option A is the correct answer. Kamal started a business investing 9,000 rupees. After 5 months, Samir joined with a capital of 8,000 rupees. If at the end of the year they earn a profit of 6,970 rupees, then what will be the share of Samir in the profit? Well, it is given that at the end of year they earn a profit of so and so rupees which means that they have done business for one year. So the total time period is 12 months, right? And out of those 12 months, Kamal did business for the complete 12 months because he started the business. So Kamal did business for 12 months. What about Samir? Samir came after 5 months. So he did business for 12 minus 5 months, that is 7 months, right? So we have the time periods of Kamal and Samir doing their business, 12 months and 7 months. We also have been given the amounts of their investment. 
So we have all the data. We can calculate the ratio of their profits. So let Kamal's profit be K and Samir's profit be S. So the ratio of their profits will be K by S. It is equal to the compounded ratio of their investments and the time period of their investments. So Kamal invested 9000 rupees for 12 months. So times 12 divided by Samir invested 8000 rupees for 7 months. Cancelling out the terms. These zeros get cancelled out. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So it is equal to 27 by 14. So K is to S. That is the ratio of Kamal's and Samir's profit is 27 is to 14. Now the total parts of profit here are 27 plus 14 is 41. Okay. So we have been asked Samir's profit out of the total profit of 6970. So Samir's profit is equals to he earns 14 parts out of 41. So 14 parts out of 41 of 6970 times 6970. And when you solve this, you will get 2380. So the correct answer is option B. Arund, Kamal, and Vinay invested 8000 rupees 4000 rupees and 8000 rupees respectively in a business arun left after 6 months if after 8 months there was a gain of rupees 4005 then what will be the share of kamal what is the total time period that is given to us in this question well it is written that after 8 months there was a gain of 4005 so the total time period is 8 months and out of these 8 months Arun left after 6 months. So Arun did business for 6 months whereas Kamal and Vinay were there till eternity till all the time right. So K is 8 and V is 8. Now we have the total time periods of all of these guys. Now we also have the amounts they have invested so the ratio of the profits made by these three people Arun, Kamal and Vinay can be written as let's say we have A is to K is to V. The ratio of their profits is equals to the compounded ratio of their investments and their time periods. So we have Arun invested 8000 so 8000 times its time period which is 6 is to then Kamal invested 4000 so 4000 times 8 is to Vinay who invested again 8000 rupees so 8000 times 8. Now we can directly cancel out the zeros here these three zeros these three zeros and these three zeros get cancelled out right. Now dividing the whole ratio by 8 it doesn't change the ratio we have we can cancel out these 8 as well. So the, this 8, this 8 and this 8 gets cancelled out. What remains is 6 is to 4 is to 8. Now again dividing throughout by 2 we get 3 is to 2 is to 4. Right. So these are the ratios of their profits. If we assume the profit as parts. So the total parts of profit are 3 plus 2 which is 5 plus 4, 9. So 9 parts are there. And we have been asked what is the share of Kamal. So Kamal's share is 2 parts out of these 9 parts. Hence we can write K's profit share is 2 parts out of 9 parts of the total share which is 4005. So this is equal to when you will solve it you will get 890. So the answer is option A.